Friday, September the 22nd, 2023. And I'm down in a currently sunny March, Fenland, Cambridgeshire, about to undertake a 10 mile circular, uh, nine mile officially, but I'm adding a bit on from the station. Country Walking Magazine walk today and it's um, created by Phoebe Taplin again and past experience tells me she includes a lot of road walking which is not a good sign but uh, yeah let's see what pans out today still a signal box here in use I noticed there which as I say is unusual being in Fenland we've got some Pretty flat terrain to uh, deal with, in contrast to last week. And at the moment, as I say, the sun's out. There is cloud building up, and this afternoon is forecast to be cloudy. But thankfully, no rain. It's around 12 noon, so uh, should be done around, or back here for five-ish. That's my plan anyway. Unlike last week when uh, an extra plate of fish and chips delayed me a bit. Not to worry, all good stuff. I don't know if there'll be much to actually film on this walk today because it's so uh, big sky country and flat. No churches to my knowledge. But uh, let's see what awaits us. So as you can see from the station, three quarters of a mile to the town centre, the exterior of March Station, which I recall as a child being a um, train depot where we used to uh, want to come but never did to get a certain engine variety number. March East Junction, the name of that box. I'm sure if the station hotel is still in business, doesn't look like it to me. Okay, here we go. March Town Centre. I'm in the High Street now. Probably a tributary of the River Neen here, these canal boats. Or is it the Harrowwood? Better check that on the map. That probably gives it away. Just passing the old marketplace. Quite an interesting town actually after the initial half mile of walking down Station Road, which is pretty bland. One thing I can tell you is that there's a lot of roadworks going on and traffic build up in the town today so I need to get away from these fumes pretty pronto passing St Peter's Church and there have been a couple on the route thus far didn't bother filming them though too urban Providence Chapel opposite St Peter's so as I say, quite a lot of religious buildings around. Then passing the Centenary Baptist Church. And then Trinity Church. Passing another possible convenience store here for uh, sandwiches, etc. I actually got mine from a large Sainsbury's just earlier at the bottom of Station Road. Interesting feature here which you can research online called the Stone Cross. Approaching St Wendred's Church and incidentally I'm doing this walk in a uh, 
anti in a clockwise direction which is um, the opposite to the way the walk creator does it I'm getting this church out of the way early on and the road walking as well wouldn't want to get caught up with that in the rush hour a very bland storm porch absolutely nothing in it as mentioned in the walk notes an amazing ceiling all those angels So, uh, Google this church, St. Wendred's, March, if you're interested. Yeah, a lovely bit of uh, leaded glass there. And looking back, very light in here as well, thanks to the windows and the low lying land. Incidentally, we have a height differential today of minus six feet, 18 foot is the uh, highest point. So, uh, well in the Fenlands. Cemetery is on the other side of the road, which must clearly have split the church from its cemetery at one point. There's a footpath immediately opposite the church, which I'm now on, and hopefully uh, getting away from the road walking of which there's been a fair bit, probably a mile and a half thus far, I'd say. Looking back at St Wendred's and leaving March behind us, finally. See the cloud cover, sun's still out, mind. Now out into the fens. So having skirted round that field, the Woodman's Way, uh, which I didn't realise we were on, goes left. Yeah, there's confirmation that we were on it, but our onward journey is actually right towards a busy A road ahead. Crossing over the busy A141 there with no traffic island. Very tricky. Classic Phoebe Taplin though, including a lot of road walking and busy ones at that. And I've now got another section of said road walking down this road, Knight's End Road, passing the Fenland Crematorium. God rest their souls. A rare bit of woodland out in the fens. And as you'd likely expect out here in the uh, flatlands, plenty of wind farms or wind turbines because they're not actually farms as such. They're scattered around and about, which isn't as bad as a farm because they're uh, serving a very localised purpose. As we saw yesterday with Rishi Sunak's U-turn on the um, green policy or policies, they really don't know what they're doing. However, as I've always said on this uh, camera, electric vehicles will be superseded very shortly anyway, hopefully by hydrogen, and um, that is probably what's behind it in reality. Nothing to do with thinking about the people or their 
cost of living expenses. Plenty of algae filled dikes and a few ducks. Mallards there, nothing special. In fact, thus far, very little to report, full stop on the nature front. Having said that, a couple of deer down there, probably fallow by the looks of it. Not rutting like the reds in uh, Richmond Park at the minute, so I hear. Now that kind of UV panelling on the roof over there is an excellent use of UV panelling. Not plonking it in acres of fields. Another uh, Johnson Sunak idea that I think will soon be superseded and a complete waste of money. Just by a place called Burrows Moor on the map. And as you can see, more turbine folly. Solitary magpie in the background. So here I am by Boarding House Farm. And there is a path here called Gault Bank that I could have followed all the way from the A road rather than doing all that road walking. So that's a classic Phoebe Taplin error. Done a lot of road walking here on a fairly busy road as well. Whereas early on after the A road, I could have joined Gault Bank here, come out of Boarding House Farm and continued on Gault Bank as I'm about to at this point. Yeah, there's a buzzard. Now at this point, as I approach Ransom Moors or Ransom Moor Farm on the map, I'm minus one feet below sea level according to the map. So, uh, quite amazing, eh, I'm below sea level. That scrapyard over there is a bit of a blot on the landscape. Amazing, there's several grain spillages I've come across on this walk. No birds pecking it. They're obviously too well fed, or there's uh, no birds around, which is more likely to cause the reason. Look at these clouds, eh? Amazing in big sky country. Very ominous. Just felt a few spots. Fingers crossed, that's all I get bit brighter on the uh, homeward leg over there. Be having my lunch shortly. Not sure where but I will. So I spotted this on the map and we do indeed turn off here and was hoping that there might be somewhere to eat in terms of a table or something down by the river which we'll soon be walking alongside. These are big old beasts, aren't they, when you get up close to them. Just wish they weren't there though, to be honest. Spoiling the skyline. So here we are, Floods Ferry Marina Park. And if I can't find anything else, this would make a good little uh, lunchtime stop, eh? right at the entrance of Floods Ferry Marina Park. 
three o'clock, lunch has been had, and that little uh, boat-like resting point was ideal. Just over six miles in as well, so as I anticipated, this was a perfect resting point. Sun is still getting through, winning the battle. Uh, probably around about another five miles to do, I'd say now. And most of that will be alongside the old course of the River Neen, um, which I know runs into Peterborough. And I do believe we're going to be on the Herowood Way, which I was on at Brandon um, not so long back. So we're now crossing over Staffus Bridge on the map. This is our onward journey right here, following the Neen. As you can see, it has brightened up, thankfully. And there is the marina park, entrance to which I was having my lunch a few minutes ago. Now, as you can probably hear, the wind's picking up. Has been a westerly today, but quite cool, I must admit. That marshland over there is known as Botany Bay, per the map. And per my altimeter, I'm seven foot above sea level here. And that's probably because I'm on an embankment. So the Neen itself is probably at or below sea level. More agricultural fields on my left. Picks up, maybe out of here now. Might be some rain tonight, I think. And I can hear the noise from that uh, turbine. Must be quarter of a mile away. They look like uh, grebes to me. Not certain, but um, they're not diving. I've also seen a uh, cormorant as well on this river, so the wildlife's starting to pick up now. In fact, I might have that totally wrong, and they may be the offspring of that uh, cormorant I've seen flying around. Look at the beaks and they are making calling sounds to something I have to check that out immature plumage there's the parent drying its wings if it is the parent which I suspect it is And below it, river maintenance going on, reed maintenance. Amazing how they've adapted, eh? So far, so good. Looking at what they're clearing out there, there must be loads of little critters that they're killing off in those weeds as well. I'm not sure what's more important, keeping the river flowing as it is. It looks like it's tidal here and going out again. Or uh, 
having homes for these little critters. Still got some swallows skimming around over the river. Good to see as we approach October. Tomorrow being the uh, autumnal equinox, of course. So around about a month now of uh, decent day length. And then it all gets very negative, eh? I say it every year, but it's true. Another variety of deer over there. I can't recognise from here. But I don't think they're monk jack. Yeah, looks like the old swans have been feeding where they've been dredging the weeds. Wonderful. I think March is coming into view now. I can see the spire of uh, St. Wenfred. Just walking past that property there and you've got one of those bully dogs. A bully XL. Messing about on the river as the clouds win the battle with the sun at the moment. Fingers crossed. Right, the GPX track does a left here, it goes along the road. I don't know when the track is made. Now it looks like you can continue straight ahead. The OS map also shows some means of getting across the river Neen here on a bridge but I don't see any the wind is definitely picking up and rain is coming I can feel it not the droplets yet but the uh, intention so I'm going to chance my arm on going straight and see what happens so you can see here that up until recently there was a lot of um, over, uh, vegetation so I wonder if they've recently opened this up, which would be a sensible idea, uh, because walking along the road is not good. This is far more salubrious. Well, that is bad news. So I'm going to have to go back on myself now. And it's starting to spit. And unfortunately, the landowner's over there with his dogs. So I'm not going to risk it. So, a bit more road walking it is, unfortunately. No verge either. So after around half a mile of dodgy road walking here, and it is quite busy again, take this finger post to the Harrow, uh, to March. Mile and a half now, Harrowwood Way. Between houses here. And the sun's back out after a quarter of an hour of droplets and there's a, a welcome if you're over a 40 inch waist you're not going to get past that danger of death yes indeed and this is the path uh, described in the text as being very overgrown and it is maintained up until the uh, telegraph pole no doubt by their engineers but thereafter as you can see very overgrown and it's beside the land of the guy that's blocked the passage next to the river where I was earlier what an idiot and this is part of not only the Harrowwood Way but the Black Fen Waterway Trail 
So Cambridgeshire, it really does need maintenance. Get your fingers out. And all because matey boy won't play ball with the local authority and let people cross this section of his land. Presuming it is his, he's probably acquired that over the years as opposed to purchasing it with the property. So thanks to him I've probably lost between 20-25 minutes there. But others watching this video will now know unless um, Cambridge decided to do something about it. Wonderful rainbow over there. So hopefully my fortunes will improve now. Pace 24 minutes 40 seconds per mile. It's a box there being used by something. Have to go around the marina now. 10 mile into the walk exactly as you may have heard. Now walking alongside the busy A141 and as you can see they're moving no quicker than me. Here we go. NCN 63. A mile to march still. So you can see where I was over there. I had to divert around that little marina. Now going under the A141. Plenty of weed in the river, look at it. It's funny how they don't maintain this section. Welcome to March notice on the bridge there. Following the Herrowood Way through a section of March called West End. Small park area next to the Neen. Most of the um, land next to the Neen in this West End area is given over to either property or gardens. So this is a rare exception. Sun's out now, cracking evening. Passing the Rookswood Club, whatever that is. Interesting little area this West End. Glad I've done it this way round, finishing off with this section of walking as opposed to the busy road that I encountered earlier. Because if you did it in that anti-clockwise direction, that's what you'd be facing now. Some pretty busy traffic. So I, th I suggest doing it in the uh, clockwise direction as I have. Still got the Neen on my right. But now ahead of me you've got Broad Street, where I was earlier today, which leads into the High Street. You can see Steve Barkley's the uh, MP here. little war memorial there. So here we are, 12 miles on the button, 4 hours 17 later and a uh, routine 12 mile walk that was. Usual um, issues with Phoebe tapping, putting a lot of it on roads. I'd say of that 12 mile, five was likely on roads. Can't guarantee that, but that's what it felt like to me. Other than that, um, yeah, decent leg stretcher. Different scenery, for sure. Um, not my favorite, as regulars will know. I'm not a big Skies fan, really. It's all right in moderation, but I like a bit of variety to my walks and a bit of up and down. So uh, Country Walking Magazine's March Circular completed. And um, 
the weather held out effectively anyway at about 10 minutes of droplets round about that point where I had to divert so I can't complain really but um, yeah I'd suggest you do it in a clockwise direction as I did far better miss the bulk of the traffic so until the next time take care